Hello everybody and welcome to the computer help guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server on a Mac. It's very easy to do. Not many programs involved in this tutorial and it's a lot easier than the other videos that I've seen on YouTube. Um, and now um, Minecraft has gone into beta 1.5 underscore zero one um, which is quite good. Uh, I should really get on with the video now, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay. Video start now. So, I need you to go into a web browser and open up the Minecraft homepage. Uh, when it loads... Oh, there we go. Pretty fast. Um, so, underneath the Buy Now button, you have the Play Minecraft Beta. Now, we don't want to play it in the browser. We just want to head out over to the Download section. Just wait for that. Oh, this internet's taking the mic today. Okay, look, I might skip this part of the video out when the page decides to load, so yeah. Okay, so I'm back. Oh, God, that took a while. Um, so if you scroll down to the multiplayer beta so server software, um, if you're on a Windows, then I suggest watching another video, but you can download the Minecraft server executable. Um, but for us, on a Mac, you need to download the Minecraft server.jar. So just click on it. Uh, wait, oh god. And download it. Now, most videos will ask for you to remember this snippet of code, but for this video, you don't. You can forget it. Throw it out the window. So just get that, because I've already downloaded it. And next, we need to download a program called Log Me In Hamachi. So just search it in. There we go. Oh, ah. There we go. Log Me In Hamachi. So once we search, <laughs> when it loads, oh my god. There we go. So Log Me In Hamachi, virtual networking with Log Me In Hamachi. So we need to click on download. Since it's been really slow today. There we go. Okay, so we want the unmanaged version, so just agree with the conditions of use. And download now. So it's downloaded. So open it up. And just go through the entire installation process but once you've downloaded it you will get you can just search your computer and hopefully you will find log me in Hamachi you should have like a little picture like this so just open it and you to start it up just click on the power button and here you'll notice it says 5.54.10.145 that'll be different for you but for me it's this and this is the IP you're going to use to get into your Minecraft server. Okay, so when it loads up, just click on network and cre click on create a new network. Give it a name and a password. So I'll call it join me. Oh, oh hello. Oh, we got. Sorry about this. <sighs> okay, whilst we're waiting for that to do its thing, you can make a new folder and just call it whatever. So I'll call it Minecraft Server 2. And then you can drag the Minecraft Server.jar application into it. And the reason we're making a folder is because it's going to create a lot more different. Um, files and stuff inside of the folder so it keeps it nice and organized if you make a folder okay so back on the log me and Hamachi side um, you, you can click on network and click on create a new network so give it a name so oh, join mess server please and give it a password so test123 
Um, I will delete this afterwards. And for some reason, the password shows, but okay, who cares? So create. Wait for it. There we go. So you'll notice it says the name of the network ID. Now you can give the network ID and the password to your friends, and then they can join. So as you can see here, I've got uh, my friends and my brothers on the same network as me. Uh, so yeah. So open up the Minecraft server, or the folder which you've got the Minecraft server.jar application in, and run it. Okay, so here we go. So it's run. And every time Minecraft up updates, you will have to download it again. Uh, so yeah, so after it's loaded, you can close it. Open it up again, you should see all these folders inside. Now the one we're interested in is the OPs and the server.properties. Now to open server.properties, you need to go on applications and open the text edit. And close this window. And drag and drop the server.properties into the text edit. And there we go. So here are the properties on my server. Now you can change these to whatever you want. So hell world, false, born monsters, true. Online mode, true. Now I think if you've downloaded the free version of Minecraft, I think you have to put that as false. I'm not sure. Um, I guess you'll have to do a bit of research. So max players, you can change that to what you want. Server IP, leave that blank. PVP, so true or false. Um, I put it as false because I don't like hitting each other. I, I just like to build and look around and stuff. And there you go. So you can leave the rest of that. Now you can open up the OPs and just put your name down. And what OPs are? They basically are moderators and they control the server, so they can give people stuff. They can ban people. Um, they can do a lot of different things. Okay, so open up the Minecraft server.jar again. Um, Okay, so once it's done, open up Minecraft, log in, multiplayer. Now, to find the IP, click on Log Me and Hamachi, and this code that will be up here, this IP, um, you need to type that into the multiplayer server, and And then you're done. So connect. Uh, and there you go. So here's your own Minecraft server. Now, obviously, when you start off the server, you're not going to start off in a castle like this. This is just a project me and my brother and my mate have been working on um, in our spare time. So that is it. I might show you this castle in another video, but I think I've wasted enough of your time. So you can feel free to do what you want now. Um, so if you want to join my server, then just message me, um, give me your Minecraft name and the the name of the user on the log me um, and then I can approve it and so on and so forth, so you can join my server. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe and. I will see you next time.